is the moment fans around the world have been waiting for. It's time! Two men enter, one man Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Roastmasters. Please put your hands together for your host, Louis J. Gomez. Holy shit. Welcome to the Roastmasters at the Sand. How you motherfuckers feeling tonight? That is what I'm talking about. This is a fuck. This I I there is a vibe in the air right now. We have a killer fucking main event coming up later on. Champion versus champion. Clap it up for Mike Lawrence versus Zach Amico. That's happening tonight. Tonight. We also have a bunch of amazing undercard battles. I'm going to explain how all of this shit works in a little bit, but I'm going to tell you right now. First of all, clap your hands if it's your first time here at the Roastmasters. So there's like 25 people that are like, I don't know what the fuck is going on right now. Here's what we do. We take New York City's best and brightest comedians. We have them come up on stage and we have them battle each other in one-on-one -on -one competitive roasting. It gets personal. We talk about fucking herpes and dick jokes and fucking moms dying and grandmas dying of cancer. And it's, uh, it's fucking crazy. Are you guys ready for a great show? Come on. And, thank you. And we have a panel of prestigious comedians. Uh, uh, some of the best in the business, some of the meanest in the business. First up, he's a legend in the business. Ladies and gentlemen, clap it up as loud as you can for Rich Voss. Let him oh, hear it. Thank you. Come on. Thank you. Lois. What? All, all I want to know is what are those two girls eating? What the fuck is that? They're having, I think they're having some sort of uh, what is a tater tot nacho. Is that, is that a dessert? No. Oh, I wanted a bite. Miss, where are you, where are, you are you from here? You're from LA. Why do you talk that way? That makes no sense at all. Yeah. She said tater tots. She doesn't know. She's hammered. All right, good. Fuck yeah. All right. And sitting right next to him, you guys might know him from the Impractical Jokers. Clap it up for Sal Falcano. Let him hear it. All right. Thank you. Two kinds. Two kinds. Very happy to have you back, Sal. Uh, any advice for any of our roasters that we're going to see tonight? Well, I will say this. I, I've judged a bunch, and I've, I've never prepared anything. I never looked at who was battling and prepared some, you know, nice little jokes and jabs and stuff yeah. beforehand. Sometimes I feel like people do. And in a show of respect for how hard the comedians work tonight and the championship match tonight, I did a little research on everybody and I pr actually prepared. You prepared some yeah. stuff. Yeah. yeah. I'm very excited. Yeah. Sal Valcano taking his time. Sal gets paid $300,000 a minute. I don't know if you guys know that. So. It's very valuable time. And sitting right next to him, you guys might know him from his multiple specials on Comedy Central or his uh, storytelling show, This Is Not Happening. Clap it up for Ari Shafir. Ari Shafir. Thank you. Thank you very much. I prepared nothing. You prepared nothing. Good. Yeah. We like you raw, Ari. We like you raw. Well, that's what you're going to get. Good. And what do, what do you expect to see tonight? Man, Mike versus Amico, right? Yeah, that's it. That's the fucking one. Everyone, every other roast, I can care less about. Okay, good. There's five of them. They both go down quickly and awfully. Okay. Well, guys, they're all going to be great. Don't just let Ari get in your head. They're all going to be phenomenal. <laughs> but also, don't fight it if I'm getting in your head. Let that, <laughs> let that sink in. And right next to him, fresh off of tour with Amy Schumer, clap it up for Mark Norman. Let him hear it. Hey, hey. Thank you. Good to be back. Good to have you back from L.A. Yeah, good times in L.A. I had a lot of fun out there. Uh, I, I judged the roast battle out in Los Angeles. Have you done it out there too, Mark? I have, yeah. Good times. What do you like better, New York or L.A.? What do you think uh, for the roast on. battles anyway? New York's way better. There we go, come talking on. shit. That's why I thought you were going to stay out there. <laughs> You're an overrated ethnic comedian. There we go. All right. Very nice. Perfect for L.A. Nah, I think joking. Mark's, Mark's uh, microphone should be a little bit louder. A little bit louder, guys. Oh, yeah. Thank and you. right next to him, the brand new, this is, uh, this is officially news right now, the brand new house judge, because Mike Lawrence, who is in our main event tonight, is moving to Los Angeles, which is very sad. Oh, yeah. Very sad. That's uh, great news. We're doing big things. It's, no, no. He's, he's quitting comedy. He's going to be homeless. Oh, it's the whole thing. No. Uh, but very... Very happy to have as our brand new house judge every week from the bonfire on Comedy Central Radio from Legion of Skanks podcast, Big J Okerson. Let him hear it. 
Thank you, Lewis. Thank you, Lewis. A few things I want to acknowledge. Number one. Fucking nepotism. I hope, Lewis, that you, uh, I hope I'm right about this, that everyone, when you said uh, the prestigious panel, everyone laughed. I hope it wasn't the irony of that, and it was how you stumbled through the word prestigious. Oh, prestigious. Were you laughing at my uh, my pronunciation? No, probably not. Or oh, were you are. laughing at them being no- no-name comedians? We were laughing at the fact that you have uh, four cargo pockets. <laughs> it's a lot of cargo. Yeah, look how low they go. I have a lot of weapons, guys. Ah, yes. And finally, I'd like to say, you have to be a different level of New Jersey garbage to think that tater tots are dessert, Rich. <laughs> I, 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 <laughs> listen, I'm not going to argue with food to you. Okay? Yeah, thank you. From here, it looked, I thought like, it was it cereal. looked, it looked like <laughs> ice cream or something. In Rich's defense, they are served in his hat. It should have killed more on this side of the room. Yeah. And last but not least, probably in my opinion, the most important variable in this show, DJ Isis. Clap it up for DJ Isis. DJ Ice is killing it. All right, let me explain to you the rules, guys. Here's the way it's going to work. All right, we have a bunch of undercard matchups. The undercard matchups are going to be one round battles. Okay, one round, they're going to go a few jokes back and forth, tit for tat. Uh, The way it's going to work for the undercards, the audience is going to vote. You guys are going to decide who's going to win. The judges are going to be giving feedback throughout the entire show. Okay, for what? How come your hat doesn't say bald under that? (laughs) Because then it would say blacked bald, Rich. It's still funny. Yeah, it is funny. So uh, your main event, we're going to get into the rules for that later. Robert, do me a favor. Clap your hands if you're ready to get this shit going. Come on. Come on, motherfuckers. Feels like a good crowd, Lewis. Feels like a good crowd. I have a feeling. There's a, there's a We've good had some in roughies. We've had some roughies in here lately. This is a good one. Your first battle of the evening. Uh, this guy is his second time returning to the Roastmasters from Seattle, Washington. Clap it up as loud as you can for Jonas Barnes. Let him hear it. And his competition making her Roastmasters debut from the great state of Connecticut. Clap it up as loud as you can for Alex Engelbert. Let her hear it. Alex, very happy to have you here on the Roastmasters. Do you feel prepared? Yeah. Okay, good. (laughs) I'm going to have you call it in the air. Oh, um, heads. Tails it is. Jonas, you want to go first or defer? (laughs) All right, you're going to go first, Alex. You're going second, Jonas. One round, ladies and gentlemen. This is it. Opening round. Clap it up, clap it up, clap it up. Let's roast. I didn't know what to ferment. Okay. Um, Jonas is what would happen if the Pillsbury Doughboy developed a meth addiction. Uh, Jonas, I'm really glad you asked me to do this. You know, I figure you're fighting enough battles right now. You know, the one against morbid obesity and the one where you risk losing a limb to type 2 diabetes. Thank you, Miley Virus. Um, <laughs> Alex, a good one. I, uh, <laughs> I don't want to say that you're a hot, skinny, coked out alcoholic, but uh, <laughs> you're basically the Kate Moss of comedy, uh, except that Love you're it. not successful, and instead of Johnny Depp, you fucked the drummer from Blink 182. It's true. <laughs> uh, Let's see. Uh, Jonas left Portland to go live in a crack den in Jersey with his bipolar girlfriend who's a recovering heroin addict. Um, She used to put crazy drugs into her system, and fucking Jonas is hands down the worst thing she's ever put inside of her. (laughs) You know, I really didn't actually want to make fun of just your sex life and everything tonight, but it was pretty hard because you've literally fucked over a hundred men. And, uh, yeah, over a hundred, Alex. Over a hundred. Your pussy's got a bigger draw than your comedy ever will. I don't get booked because I'm funny. Um, (laughs) This is true, though. Jonas has always been gross and unfuckable. True story. No, really. (laughs) When Jonas was a baby, his father left him in a crack house as collateral for a bag of heroin. (laughs) Yeah. And nobody took him and nobody fucked him. It's true. Although his dad probably fucked the dealer to make reparations for what a bad trade that was. (laughs) That's just... I appreciate that. Thank you. Um, 
It happened. <laughs> you uh, you look like you dressed up as a slut for Halloween when you were 16 and then just decided to never stop. <laughs> I was 13. Um, Jonas did have a rough childhood. Uh, the only time he ever got to play with toys was when police officers asked him to show them on the doll where his father touched him. <laughs> it picks up funny. people. It picks up. You know, up. Alex, your boyfriend is 21 years older than you, and I thought that was weird at first until I remembered I've seen you do comedy naked, <laughs> and now it makes sense. Your pussy is at least 21 years older looking than you are. That's not true. <laughs> One more time for Jonas and Alex, guys. <laughs> Let's get some feedback from our judges. Big J Okerson. That was really good. That was, uh, that was a good opening round for sure. First of all, <laughs> immediately when the roast started, before it even started, actually, I was just taken back by the fact that me and Jonas clearly shop at the same place. <laughs> uh, same clothes for sure. I think maybe the same exact sweatshirt tonight. Um, and I'll be honest with you, it hurt my feelings when she was attacking Jonas for having a heroin, uh, recovering heroin at a girlfriend, because I get it, dude. As a big dude, if a fucking thinner chick is willing to fuck you, I don't give a shit what's making her thin. <laughs> <laughs> heroin, whatever. Sweet. Keep that ass in shape. I don't give a shit. Boot up. I'll tie you off. You're going to fuck me and walk around in public? Fantastic. <laughs> I don't have to I'm going to get Christina Koch problem before she... <laughs> <laughs> Mark uh, Norman, any feedback? Uh, yeah, yeah. It was, uh, there, was, there was some some pearls in there and some bombs. I think I feel the most sorry for Jonas's stool. But, um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, also, it's, it's cool to see what uh, your girlfriend would look like without the eating disorder. But, um, yeah. <laughs> uh, sure. um, but uh, I think uh, Big Joe is a little more consistent, a little more confident. Right. Well, so you, you guys aren't there. voting right now. Oh, shit. The audience, uh, so you just give some feedback right now for the audience. They're both terrible. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> Ari Shafir. Ari Shafir, what do you think? Yeah, this was tough. Uh, Jonas, <laughs> you are just uh, my last Facebook purge of friends I don't have anymore. Uh, so... <laughs> It's nice to see you again for the last time, I guess. Only in person now. Only in person with us. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, when I heard you were dating Gina Visconti, my first thought was like, wow, we're going to see someone deaf up there. That's the only way that could last. Wait, what? But then it hit me. Uh, no, not deaf. She's out, she out annoys Gino, and that way they keep their relationship. Right. Okay, why would I, have, I don't get it. Why would I have to be deaf? To deal with him? Okay. okay, all right, let's go to Sal Volcano. <laughs> like, Any feedback, my friend? Um, no immediate. I have something I prepared. No uh, immediate. What did you prepare? Good. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> oh, my word. <laughs> Looks like the insults are a flying. <laughs> Those snaps and retorts are some of the finest I've heard in quite some time. <laughs> Sal Volcano. Rich Voss, great, any feedback on this roast? I don't. Jonas looks like he uh, should be shoveling coal on a train. Uh, <laughs> he had 20 good pussy jokes. She didn't have a lot of punchlines, but she's fucking Gino Bisconti. <laughs> yeah. Fuck. How even do you want to get with your parents? <laughs> the fuck did they do to you? Gino's going to talk to them at their high school uh, reunion. Oh, how mad at her pussy is she? Yeah. All right, let's go to the audience. Who do you think won this? Do you think Alex Engelbert won? No. <laughs> Who's that one Jonas Bars, clap your hands. Your yeah. winner is Jonas Bars, guys. Oh, clap I'm it up voting. for him. Come on. Audience votes? Thank you, baby. Thank you. All right. All right, there we go. Opening battle, not bad. Is this a whole new thing, Lewis? The what? audience votes? Yeah. I'm keeping the audience involved, guys. There we yeah. go. Love it. Hey, uh, Lewis. Uh, what? Quick question from the judges. Uh, what are we doing here? <laughs> <laughs> Shit, on second thought, he's right. What yeah. the fuck are we doing I here? I voted. I thought we voted. You give feedback, and then that... <sighs> so we're not judges, then. We're just feedback. I kind of like the way they did it in L.A. Why I was there in L.A. Why they... Fuck L.A. Why did you... Fuck L.A. Fuck L.A. Fuck L.A. 
Fuck LA! Fuck LA! Lewis, can I tell you, by the way, I, I judged a roast battle in Toronto this week. I'm touring around judging roast battles. Yeah, it's your now. thing. I, uh, it's my new thing. But uh, I did one, in, and, and by far, and you just did one in LA. It is the level of, like, the talent that we have here in New York for this kind of thing is insane. It's way above. <laughs> Fucking Toronto, Canada roasting, Lewis. It's crazy. They were like, she doesn't look too good in most of her shirts, eh? She's slightly <laughs> overweight. She, she barely has any maple syrup left in the closet, eh? <laughs> yeah. Oh, this girl can't even afford to put a syrup on her pancakes, you know what I'm saying? Wait, she turned to Irish? Yes. <laughs> She was an. You think Irish people can't be in Canada, Lewis? You fucking racist. Get outside of your house more. Are you guys ready for your next battle? Clap it up! Come on. So we're, we're voting on this one. We're voting on this. You're one. voting on this one. Fine. I gave up on it. It was that He's easy. Change the entire show format That's upon it. suggestion. Yeah. yeah, he was so happy too upstairs. Oh, we're doing a new one this well, time. Well, no, can I tell you why? It keeps the audience involved. Oh, shut the fuck the audience. See? Wait, hang on, Lewis. This is one of the main event, Lewis. though. The main events the ju- the, in LA. They judge the ju- hold on. The judges in LA vote on just the main event. Yeah, maybe. But that, I just did it, Lewis. What? How about also? How about the audience is the first vote? No, the last, yeah. Only for the undercards, though, because we don't trust them with the main event. Fuck those idiots on the main event. I can't trust these bucket of retards to judge a main event. They got to call me into other countries to do this. Yeah, she's eating dessert potatoes. (laughs) Yeah. You're going to let her make decisions while she's eating dessert potatoes? That's insanity. Hey, can I get a drink? And... Oh, shit. Ladies and gentlemen, Roastmaster General Jeff Rush shows yeah. up. Come on! Yeah. Jeff. Lewis, start your Fuck L.A. chant again. Jeff, fuck were you here? Fuck L.A. Were you here for fuck. fuck L.A.? Were you here for the Fuck L.A. chant? Yeah, I like that there's a rivalry brewing. I think that's fucking rad as shit. I hope maybe we do an East Coast, West Coast roast battle. Oh, oh shit. hell yeah. That's a so great fuck idea. LA. Fuck, fuck L.A. Fuck L.A. Fuck L.A. Well, if we we do if it gonna, in Kansas City. <laughs> if you're gonna beat if you're gonna beat the LA comics, though, I'll say this: you're gonna have to come up with something more creative than fuck LA. Ooh, fuck that! We do this shit tonight. <laughs> we just beat the shit out of Jeff Ross. No. <laughs> Here's what I think. I, by the way, I think the the competition in New York is unbelievable because roasting started here. There's a fucking attitude here. Obviously, these guys are fucking all killer roast comics, style comics. But you know what? Just pull the audience just to see what they think and then let the, ju- the judges judge. Yeah. All right. That's what I, I said. I think it's that's a, a hybrid rule. like Jeff Ross. It's a hybrid, a hybrid. I like it. Guys, it, Jeff Ross, come on. It's okay. Thank you. So, sort of fuck L.A. and then use some of their ideas. LA is not so bad. LA's I like the so fish bad. tacos. Some things are fun. You ever <laughs> been to Cantor's? <laughs> you guys Mother's have- pretty cool. And your next battle. Come on, clap it up. Let's go. Come on, motherfuckers. From the great state of Michigan, clap it up for Ian Hunt. And his competition from Long Island, New York, Ryan Mulholland. Let him hurt. <laughs> Ryan, I'm going to have you call it in the air, my friend. You got it. Tails. Heads it is. Ian? Uh, Ryan, you're going first. All Ian, right. you're going second. This is one round. Clap your hands. Come on, guys. Woo! Let's roast. All right. This is fun to be here roasting a funhouse mirror. <laughs> I, uh, you, you fucking, it's terrifying. You look like a supermodel if Gap launched a clothing line for school shooters. <laughs> Ryan, you lesbian toad. Ryan was breastfed uh, this afternoon when he licked Nutella off of his own tit. <laughs> Yeah. 
Oh my God. <laughs> I'll wait. <laughs> All right. Oh my God. Yeah. It's big words coming from someone who looks like they've only been booked at a campus police station. You literally look like someone told a police sketch artist just white guy and the worst. I'm a white guy. You look like Jim Gaffigan's cock. <laughs> the only time Ryan makes a pussy wet is when he cries in his mom's lap. <laughs> Ian looks like he was recently fired from Hot Topic for sniffing the returned clothing. That's not bad, Lord of the Onion Rings. <laughs> it's impossible to know how old Ryan is because he has the body of a toddler and the head of a retired cop. <laughs> oh my God. It's getting hot. All right, Count Hacula. All right, I, uh, at least you're, are you, okay, thank you. Please look at me in the eyes when you tell me your jokes. Ian runs a show in Brooklyn called Good For You, or as the locals call it, Autism Speaks. <laughs> you may have seen this next comic on The Spectrum. Ryan often asks me for comedy advice, and I always tell him the same thing. Uh, if I were you, I'd be fat. <laughs> Give it up. Holy shit, guys. Clap it up for both these guys. Holy shit. Ian and Ryan. Let's go to the judges. Rich Voss, what do you think? I had to give it. I mean, I hate his face, but I, I don't know what it is. It's, just point, it's close to Hitler. Uh, but I had to kind of give it to him, but I loved his happiness up there. He's so delusional. Uh, but it was... I'm telling you, but you, you have such a good stage presence. I, I really, maybe something else, but you were, I got to give it to him. Ian gets one vote. Sal Volcano, what do we think? Wow, things are heating up. <laughs> he prepared, he prepared something. <laughs> um, uh, I caramba, what a skirmish. <laughs> that, that, uh, that abortion joke was sick, bro. Who do you vote for, Sal? That was that was really actually really really good. Uh, I gotta go. Uh, I'm sorry, I forgot both of your names. Ian and Ryan. I gotta go, Ian, by just a little bit. Ian by just a little Ian bit. Ian gets two votes. Wait, Guys, I was so impressed. That was so good. Big Lewis. J chimes in. No, you have to like make the audience's vote count. You gotta make them the first vote if you want <laughs> if you want to incorporate that hybrid style. I, yeah. What's I, the I point of finding out the end? In the moment. Yeah, what about the point of, what's the point of going to him Look, I'm going to be honest with you. If it's not broken, don't fix it. We've been doing a great job for the past but year. Yeah, we don't need them. We don't need them. So we don't why need the would audience. you change it then? Can I be honest? What does the fucking audience you, know anyway? So we're back. Fuck LA. Yeah, fuck, fuck LA. LA. Fuck LA. LA. All right, Shafir, from LA. Uh, when you went to LA, did you finally realize that Puerto Ricans are the worst Latinos? No, Puerto Ricans are the best Latinos. <laughs> yeah, that's what I said in your neighborhood. Yeah. Uh, here's the deal. I thought that was a great battle. It was. Brian, I liked with that last joke where you said, um, look at me when I'm telling you when you're, when you're telling me your jokes, and then you immediately looked away from them completely <laughs> to deliver your joke. <laughs> Honestly, before this uh, battle, I, I came in, I saw you were a pudgy guy. Uh, but uh, Ian's made me believe that you are, in fact, a fat guy. And... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I'll give it to Ian for that. For really opening Ian my eyes. Ian gets three of five. Ian takes the battle, good guys. Clap it up for jokes. Ian. Real good jokes, both ways. Yeah. Either way, feedback from Mark Norman. Quick feedback, both great jokes. I wanted to go for you, Chubby Mullaney, but I couldn't do it. Um, I thought Ian edged you out, but both you guys together look like the mugshot of the Menendez brothers. Together. <laughs> Big Thank J. You. Good misdirect jokes, too. Only. Yeah. 
Your mom's laugh. Only some comics will get this, but uh, Ryan looks like if Ryan Reese got stung by a bunch of bees. <laughs> Oh yeah! I'm, I'm upset that more that more people laughed than I thought they would. I'm upset that he's working the comedy cellar. I know, right? <laughs> So's the audience. It's okay. The audience doesn't even know what the hell we're talking about. Uh, Ian also, as soon as he got on stage, I realized me and him clearly shop at the same store. Uh, but you did it 17 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> what store uh, has that outfit for real? Like, what store sells that? Uh, you can pick that up at Models. <laughs> Guys, clap it up for your winner, Ian and Ryan. Give him some love. Hug it out. <laughs> Jeff Ross, any advice for the upcoming battlers that are that are coming up here? I thought uh, that Ryan Reese's pieces had some funny jokes, but I think Springtime for Hitler took that one. Uh, I'm really here early because I want to see this main event tonight. So I, I feel like this is a great, great crowd. And these are five of the funniest comics in New York riffing tonight. So I'm just psyched to uh, have a night off and enjoy these fucking undercards. Right I, thought you, I thought you were uh, filming Powder too. <laughs> it's already in the can and it comes out July 4th weekend. All right. Your next battle are coming to the stage. This guy is from the great state of Ohio. Clap your hands for Sam Evans. Thanks. And his competition from Indiana. Clap it up for Katie Hannigan. Let her hear it. I say Katie. Does it look like a, like, like a teacher and one of the students that she fucked that grew up? <laughs> they right, always Katie. fall in love, though. They always fall in love. Katie, you're going to call it in the air. Tails. Tails it is. You want to go first or defer? I'll defer. Nice. Sam, you're going first. Katie, you're going second. This is one oh. round. Clap your hands. Come on. Come on, guys. Let's roast. Thanks. All right. Katie, you warm pile of chicken bones. Uh... <laughs> Only a skinny white girl will try to build her whole personality around a giant pair of glasses. Uh, <laughs> Katie, you're so white, I'm surprised your full name isn't Make America Katie Han again. Thank you, Fat Damon. <laughs> <laughs> Sam looks like Baron Trump after his first round of hormone therapy. <laughs> 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 oh man, that was really good. That was, that was really good. Uh, Katie, you future real housewife of Tacoma, Washington. Uh, <laughs> fuck off. Uh, <laughs> you're yeah. Uh, you're a female comic who struggles with clinical depression. Katie, what's your plan for breaking the glass ceiling, gaining a bunch of weight, and trying to hang yourself from it? <laughs> Sam, that setup needs a little trim. <laughs> Just like your uncircumcised dick. Yeah. Sam's dick is uncircumcised, that's right, and so is his neck. <laughs> Uh, I'm just kidding, Katie. You know I do think you're very talented. I think we all know that you're going to be discovered probably a day or two after your cat starts eating your face. <laughs> Sam, you're kind of a mysterious guy. You're a straight white male, but you're still failing at your career. Uh, Katie, you dead baby bird. Uh, <laughs> I'm thin. Uh, a few years ago, Katie was jumped by a group of black teenagers. Wow, finally reparations we can all agree on. <laughs> Sam, you conversion therapy success story. <laughs> <laughs> Sam's the nicest guy. Everybody shits on Sam, but he never shits on anyone else, except when he's getting pegged by his girlfriend. <laughs> uh, 
One more time for Sam and Katie, guys. Now look, just because we are experimenting tonight, Jeff Ross is in the audience. Los Angeles is watching on Periscope right now. Can we give the audience a vote on this one and see how it works? Sure, oh, Lewis. Not yet. We know they're voting for LA's Katie. got some good ideas. LA's got some good ideas. If you're voting for Katie, clap your hands. Come on. If you're voting for Sam, clap your hands. <laughs> so, I hope you all vote for Sam now. Rich Voss, what do you think? I loved him in Step Brothers. Uh, I, I, thought, I thought they were both good fucking jokes. Your last one was a killer, but here's the thing. I don't want to fuck you. Uh, <laughs> he will. So... <laughs> so no, I thought hers was good. I thought you had some good ones, too. I'm, I'm going to have to give it to the skirt. <laughs> Sam gets one vote. Hey, sweetheart. Hey, sweetheart, you want to have some dessert tots with me after the show? <laughs> Let's go down to Big J. What do you think, buddy? Uh, they both did a great job. That was actually a fucking really great battle. That was fantastic. Yeah. Uh, Sam had some great ones. She, she, had, she, had a good, she had like a knockout blow in the middle there that was a beast. So just on, on that alone, you got to say... She just moved the needle a little bit more. But, uh, but they were both fantastic, man. That was great. Katie gets two votes. Mark Norman, what do you think? Yeah, both great. I felt like Sam had a, a haymaker at the end, but uh, Katie was on him throughout the whole time. More consistent. Uh, I got to go. Yeah. Gotta go. Katie takes the Katie battle, guys. Clap it up for Katie Hannigan. <laughs> I, have a, I have a question. Final thoughts from Ari Shafir. Yeah, it was good, good battle. Uh, you kept making fun of Sam being fat, which is totally fine. I'm all for that. But... Uh, what do you think of Sal Volcano? <laughs> if yeah. that's fat, Maybe what I'll about Big J? What is this? Vote. Yeah, it was hard. That was hard because he's not. Big he's, J. I, I was feeling insulted. He's obviously, he's fat. Oh, yeah. I see. Jesus! No, I'm in. I'm in the area where you can't really call me big because then it would hurt my feelings. Well, I think it hurts his feelings too. Yeah, so so much. By the way, this would never happen in L.A. <laughs> Hey, I got something to say. Very this would nice. not happen in Hold LA. on. Let me, let me, let me get a little My feedback. My contemporary is calling me fat. <laughs> <sighs> <laughs> a little feedback from Sal. What do you think, buddy? Oh, I've, more like J.P. McDud. <laughs> <laughs> full disclosure. Full disclosure. I did, a, I did one in, in case J.P. McDade was roasting and didn't do well. He's not roasting, though. Yeah, no, I know that now, but I didn't check. He I was, prepared. I prepared. You I didn't prepared. want to <laughs> just waste the joke. Salvo okay, fine, fine, fine. So true. All lives do matter. <laughs> Guys, clap it up one more time for Katie and Sam. Come on, let them hear it. You guys having a good time so far? <laughs> DJ Isis, you having a good time, buddy? DJ just doesn't speak English, and we pay him $20 a week to be here, so it's pretty great. Wait. And your next battle, uh, this girl is from San Diego, California. Ladies and gentlemen, clap it up as I just get for Vanessa Peruda. Hi, thanks. All right, and her competition Good friend of mine. Uh, originally from Cincinnati, Ohio. Clap it up for Jasmine Pierce. Yes. Uh, I have a question for the, uh, the first person's name. Vanessa. Vanessa. Vanessa, you know Mexicans are better than Puerto Ricans, right? You know Mexicans are better than Puerto Ricans. Uh, sure. Yeah, absolutely. Thank Do they you. both live up the same beanstalk? Okay. Uh, if they're here, who's, who's playing in the uh, WNBA? <laughs> because we're tall. Yeah, I got it. Yeah. They're tall. Jasmine, Jasmine, you are the more effeminate of the two lesbians, so I'm going to let you call it in the air. Uh, heads. Tails. Vanessa, would you like to go first or defer? Uh, I'll, go, I'll go first. You're going first. Very cocky, Oh, Vanessa. shit, it's a Kentucky fraud clam bash. Vanessa, Jasmine, one round. Let's Come go on, clap it up, clap it, it up. Let's roast. Uh, Jasmine has a really, really cool podcast where she wakes up comics in the middle of the night and she talks to them in their bed. It's called uh, Sucking Cocks for Spots. 
Vanessa's dad got deported, either for skipping bail or drug trafficking. She doesn't know which, but even that's not enough to make her comedy good. <laughs> Jasmine's biracial. All right, she's half black. Her dad is black, which is where she gets her humorous side. And her mother is a Mexican blow-up doll, which is where she gets her cum-soaked side. <laughs> Whoo! <laughs> you okay? You all right? Yeah. You'll make uh, it. Vanessa beat me in fantasy football this week after True. sucking all season. <laughs> and honestly, it was a great comeback. But you know what can't come back? Your dad. <laughs> Uh, Jasmine, you stupid walking thirst trap. <laughs> Everything about you is a thirst trap. Your social media, all of your photos, even your stand-up is a thirst trap. It's just frustrating bullshit that makes women look bad. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Woo! It's fair. That, that didn't help the cause. <laughs> We're still wondering what thirst trap means. <laughs> Go Google Googling, Googling. Yeah, I think nobody knew what thirst trap meant. Yeah. Look it up. Look at, nah, look it up. All right, all What's right. wrong? Wait, wait, she has a chance to retort with also a non-funny fucking <laughs> thing. Look it up. Fleek! Vanessa, you inflated Ellen Page. <laughs> Your Facebook makes you look like you're politically active, but your body makes you look like you're not active at all. <laughs> uh, Jasmine, oh wait, last joke. Jasmine has the stage presence of a sex, sex trafficking victim. Even though we're the ones that are being tortured. <laughs> Hashtag bring the last five minutes of our lives back. Uh, Vanessa was actually happy Trump won because when he said he would drain the swamp, she thought he was talking about her pussy. Yeah. Swamp pussy! Yeah! Vanessa and Jasmine, yeah. there we go. Let's go to our judges. Ari Shafir, what do you think, my friend? Uh, yeah, I give it to Jasmine. Uh, why would you take a break from doing funny stuff to deliver a fucking message like that? What, what message? What are you talking about? The, the yeah, thirst I think trap he's thing? referring to the thirst trap. Oh. Hold, on. Thirst hold on, can I, hold on, what's a thirst trap? You all don't know what a thirst trap is? Well, we're asking. Hold on, Cla clap your hands if you know what a thirst trap is. It's a, it's a pussy. That's like three people. It's like when I, I, <laughs> yeah. I post a lot of cleavage. Clap your hands if you're having a good time. <laughs> what are you two niggas talking about? <laughs> All right, who do you vote for? That's my word. You Jasmine gets me. one vote. Easy. Rich Voss, what do you think? Uh, I don't want to fuck either of them. I'm going to go for that last girl. Uh, here's the thing. You had great, you had better jokes, but documentary style roasting, you were great at that. <laughs> so I'm, I'm going to... I'm gonna have to go uh, with with housekeeping. <laughs> <laughs> Jasmine is too vote. Lewis, does the audience not vote anymore? No, the no, we're, we're the audience is out. All right. <laughs> Sal Valcano, who do you vote for? Uh, is this being live streamed? This is being live streamed. Oh, right my here. friend uh, Dean Del Rey is looking for an apartment in the East Village. <laughs> if anyone has a lead, okay. I got to give that one to uh, the, the strongest joke. That's where I went with, so I'm going to go with Vanessa. Which one? I'm Vanessa. Oh, uh, Jasmine. Uh, <laughs> Why would you do that? It was a thirst trap. Uh, you don't even know man. what a thirst trap is. How are you saying I just that? reinvented thirst trap. No, that bullshit. was what I think bullshit. a thirst trap is. It was, right, a, it was an old switcheroo. You, I'm yeah, going to tell you. Look it up on Urban Dictionary. <laughs> Why are you fighting with a judge? This is getting insane. Okay, I don't care. <laughs> Jasmine wins the battle. Clap it up for Jasmine. I had a line. I had a line. Fight, no, fight, it's, that's, but she got three votes. But your final thoughts, Mark? Uh, I thought Jasmine had some good ones. Uh, you know, I, I really had faith in Paula Bombstone. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, just fix my carburetor later. And, um, but yeah, great stuff both of you. And uh, yeah, I'll see you at the 
Cut back. You guys will make up later <laughs> when the Hispanic yeah. one's watching the other one skateboard in a fucking empty pool. Get up, get up, you son of a bitch. Mickey loves you. <laughs> <laughs> back to roller derby. Holy shit. Okay. I think we should have more discussion about gender equity. About okay. So here's it. We have two more battles, guys. One more, and then your main event. Are you guys having a good time? Come on. I gotta say, these two potato whores are laughing at all the dirtiest shit. I love it. Yeah. They are sick, sick cunts. Yeah. So the next battle, it's only the audience judges. No, no, no. Oh. we're doing the judges are judging. The I'm audience so is out completely. Okay. That's an LA thing. You wanted to keep them involved. The way you broke down, it, like within minutes of when you had all these. You are items. 180 where you were. Shut it. You know what's also an LA thing? Competent hosts. Oh. Whoa! Oh. Bum bum ba da! Battle! 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 Fuck New York! <laughs> Fuck New York! Uh, Puerto Rico! Your next, your next battle, they're coming to the stage, uh, originally from Washington, D.C. Clap it up for Rose Bud Baker! And her competition, very good friend of mine, originally from Queens, New York. Clap it up for Chris Scopo. Oh, Scopo, you have the nicer ass, so you can call it in the air. Heads. Tails it is. Rosebud, you want to go first or defer? Uh, I will defer. Scopo, you're going first. Rosebud, you're going second. This is the, the final undercard. Clap your hands if you're ready to get this thing going. Come on. Let's roast. Uh, Rosebud is an alcoholic, is what her Republican parents tell their friends on why she's dating a black guy. Uh, Chris hoses off garbage trucks at the dump every weekend, or as he calls it, taking care of mom. <laughs> Rosebud, you believe in astrology. You should probably change your name to the Zodiac Killer. Not because you kill, but because the rest of the life, no one will know who you are. Yeah, I believe in astrology, and everyone thinks it's delusional, but you believe in yourself, so I guess we're even. Fucking uh. <laughs> 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 surrender Dorothy. Uh. Rosebud, your sister tragically died in a jacuzzi accident. But look on the bright side. You have a jacuzzi. <laughs> Scopo, you're Italian, you're from Queens, and your dad's in waste management. I'd go after your family, but unlike you, they fucking murder. <laughs> Rosebud, if black lives really mattered to you, you wouldn't have had so many abortions. Sick fun. abortion joke, bro. <laughs> women you date to your shows, which is sweet, because watching you do comedy is the closest they'll get to really getting fucked. <laughs> wow! What a yeah. battle! Holy shit! Yeah! One more jump! One more jump! One more jump! One more jump! Jeff Ross, do you want to see one more joke? Of course. Yeah. Let's go! One more joke! All right, you guys prep, let me know. Well, so far, what do you think, Ari? What do you think so far, anyway? Okay, can I just say I'm that gonna hear it. the whitest death I can possibly imagine is a jacuzzi accident? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a whirlpool. <laughs> in, in black communities, that's, oh, you got shot by jacuzzi? Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. 
Rosebud, you're going first this time. We have one more joke. This is the joke that's going to decide it. Forget everything else you heard right now, guys. It's this one fucking joke is going to decide it's it. It's been tremendous up until now. Good, good fucking final joke, Scopo. Unbelievable so far. Good the whole way through, Rosebud. Rosebud, you're going first. Scopo, you're going second. Here it is. Overtime. Let's roast. Chris, in four years, I've watched you go from running bar shows to booking a podcast. It's so inspiring how you'll do anything for comedy except be funny. <laughs> Rosebud. Rosebud's grandfather is former Secretary of State James Baker. He has to be proud of you. I mean, you've had more dead babies dragged out of you than the children's hospital he's bombed. Wow. 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 Can I just say, can I just say Mike Pence would love your comedy, Chris. <laughs> Big fan of abortions. Mark, what do you think? Ah, this is the toughest one. Damn it. Sissy Spacex on fire, but I don't know. Um, <laughs> shit. This is goddamn tough. Ah, Scopo. You got one fan. Um... We're doing us now, the judges, not it's audience. Just the judges, audience, they're out of it. What does the uh, audience think, I, I though? Vote on this one. Yeah. All right, but then you guys are all out of it. Let's change no, the rules. No, Let's no, change no, the no, rules no. to the audience, audience judges now. Main event is ours. It's audi yeah, main event is yours, but it's audience for this one, and then main I'm event for you. I'm fine with that. Deal. Ladies and gentlemen, clap your hands if you think it's Chris Copa won. <laughs> clap your hands if you think Rosebud won. You win a Rosebud Baker! Lewis. Well that, that, I'm Lewis, so, that was fucking... I'm so happy I didn't have to judge that because that was tough. Because Good bet. One, one, Chris Scopo... Oh, they're getting the gauntlet of uh, applause over there. I've wondered why I don't have like a warm, friendly... I've known Chris Scopo for a long time. We don't have a warm, friendly relationship. I think it's because he looks like a guy named Kevin who used to work at D's Electronics. used to fuck my mom in 1982. <laughs> <laughs> True story. He does have that look. Uh, and then Rosebud bangs black dudes exclusively, I hear. So yeah. it was going to be a tough one. Ladies and gentlemen, clap it up for everybody you saw tonight. All your judges. Great show. Rich Voss, Sal Vacato, Ari Shafir, Mark Norman, Big J, DJ Isis. Yeah, DJ Isis! Jeff Ross in the house. Come on. Thank you so much for supporting live comedy. We're back here on the 27th. Main event, Joel Walkowski versus Nate Fritzen. What, Jay? Make some fucking noise right now for Mike Lawrence, who is going to Mike L.A. Lawrence. He's been everything about building this show up with Luis J. Gomez, man. The two of them together. So if this is a cool thing, thank you guys for hanging out.